in this video we learn about interface level measurement here if you see this is the tank available with us the heavier fluid will come at the bottom let's call it fluid 1 and the lighter fluid will come at the top so let us call it fluid 2 but we are not interested to measure the level we are interested to measure the interface level between them we have various kind of technologies available to measure in this video we learn about the DP level technology now if you see here here's the transmitter and in order to measure this we'll be using the 4 to 20 method which is one of the most used method throughout the world to do this calculation DP level measurement cannot be used for every single application. There are major limitations for this technology and we will deal with this at the end of the video. First let us follow the calculation. Before we start with the calculation, one important thing is to know the ground rules. The distance between here, this has to always be full in this range. And the second important thing is the interface will only be measured in this particular range. Now, in terms of the 4 to 20 milliampere method, if you see here what we need to do basically is there are two important cases which we need to do for calculation. The first thing is we'll understand the interface level at zero percentage of the level and pair it up with the 4 milliampere and then we'll find the interface level what is going to remain for 100% of the interface level and pair that up with 20 milliampere. So the transmitter output is paired with the least and the maximum case. That having been said, do you know how does a DP meter work? Basically you have a pressure at the HP side and the pressure at LP side and the DP instrument will give you a difference between both of them. We are going to go with zero interface level. The heavier fluid is going to come at the bottom. Let us imagine that to be water. Water has specific gravity of 1 because specific gravity is basically density of some substance compared to that of water. So surely water will have a specific gravity of 1 and then you have the lighter fill fluid which is going to be light crude oil for example with a specific gravity of around 0.8. Now we are interested to measure the zero interface level here. So let us put our DP meter here. Once we put we should know the C2C distance which we are measuring. So the C2C distance here is going to be 1000 inches and as discussed the heavier line is going to be filled with the heavier fill fluid which is going to be basically water here with a specific gravity of 1. Let's try to do actual calculation and make our hands dirty with the calculation. The first thing is how is the transmitter going to experience this pressure? So let us look what is going to happen at the HP side. The HP side for the formula to calculate is going to be the height into the specific gravity. So for example we know the height here is 100 or 1000 inches of water column and the specific gravity here is going to be specific gravity of the lighter fill fluid which is 0.8 in our case. 0.8 into 1000 is going to give us 800 inches of water column and let us look what is going to happen at the LP side of the transmitter. Now the LP side is going to use the same formula which we just saw the height is still 1000 inches of water column multiplied by the specific gravity of the heavy fluid which is going to be water in this case. So 1000 into 1 is going to be 1000 inches of water column. So the output that we're going to see here is going to be the HP side which is experiencing less pressure 800 inches of water column minus the inches of water column that is experienced at the LP side. This is going to be 1000 inches of water column. So your output is going to be in this case minus 200 inches of water column. So now we have the 4 milliampere case with us. So with the zero interface level, your transmitter output should be in DP minus 200 inches of water column. The interface level is now increasing slowly, slowly, slowly to 50%, 75% and more. Now we get to the 20 milliampere case where the interface level is 100% and heavy fill fluid is filled in the entire C2C area. Now let us see what happens in our calculation. So what is the HP leg experiencing? Height into specific gravity will remain the same. So you have the height to be 1000 inches of water and then multiplied by specific gravity which is anyways 1. So you will get the HP side to experience 1000 inches of water column. So if you see here at an LP side, the LP side will have the same formula which we just saw. The height is going to be 1000 inches plus the fill fluid that is filled here is basically going to be water again so it's going to have a specific gravity of 1 so again LP is also going to experience 1000 inches of water column now we know what is the output of a DP transmitter output is going to be HP minus LP which both of them here is same so you're going to get 0 inches of H2O this is also good for you to actually check if really in the plant you get 0 inches of H2O or not now we have completed with the calculation so for 4 milliamps 
milliampere case you're going to have the output of minus 200 inches of h2o and for 20 milliampere case you're going to have zero inches of h2o how to measure intermediate level there's already a formula available that is the interface level is going to be equal to dp minus lrv upon span into c to c distance don't worry about the formula we'll try to decipher it one by one the first thing to note is what is the dp the dp for 50 percent because we saw our range is from minus 200 to zero so at 50 percent it is going to be minus 100 inches of water column that minus your lrv what is your lower range it is minus 200 inches of water column so you get is minus 100 minus of minus 200 upon your span the total span is going to be 200 inches of water column so 200 will come here multiply by the c to c distance which we just saw was 1000 inches so if you do the math here you will get 100 upon 200 into 1000 which is going to be half of 1000 which is going to be 500 inches which is absolutely correct for 50 percent of intermediate level 500 inches of water column of interface level will be experienced and your dp transmitter will give you minus 100 inches of water column as the output what are the issues that dp technology cannot solve the first thing to note here is when you talk about interface level it is not as easy as it looks here sometimes this interface level is actually mixed with basically both the fluids coming together which in scientific terms can be called as an emulsion layer or sometimes called as rag layer now this layer can cause a lot of interference if your level measurement range itself is very low and dp technology might not be able to help appear very well the other issue that is faced here is the range or the basically the calibration part of it if you're measuring a very small range and the output is just four inches of water column for example for such low range measurement dp instruments can create an error why because the output is so small and the dp instrument itself might have certain issues for example the impulse line or the if it's a diaphragm seal so capillary fill fluid is expanding and in all of those cases there might be that the error is superseding even the actual reading for example four inches is very less reading so for that case maybe dp instrument might not able to give you the correct reading but third instrument or the issue that can happen in dp level flow measurement is the change in density this is a very important parameter what we have the formula is height into specific gravity now it is assumed that height is going to be the variable component and specific gravity is going to remain constant but if there is change in density that means there is change in specific gravity so now you have two variables so you don't know the output has changed because of height or is it changed because of specific gravity that having been said what are the solutions for this cases the first solution available is a technology called as radar measurement radar level measurement is very useful for interface level measurement it is comparatively costlier sometimes but remember for interface level it is always recommended to go for guided wave radar as compared to free space because of its accuracy especially if you have an emulsion layer can be capacitance level measurement if your process is able to accommodate the capacitance level measurement technique then you might go if your emulsion layers are higher you also introduced advanced instrumentation group on whatsapp so basically every month you can learn to have monthly q a sessions of engineers around the world what the questions they have and the answers to it the second is you get the videos directly on whatsapp i have not monetized my channel so i directly send so you get videos without any distraction the best thing is the reason for so many years to not start this channel was privacy so now whatsapp has a new feature so even if we have a thousand members coming in the privacy of each person and their number is secured if you want to join the group the link is given in the description below